When I was about 12 or 13 years old, we had an old family doctor came to the house one time making a house call. This is in a little town in southern Illinois. And uh, Dr. Allen, in my mind, was like God, you know. The small town family doctor was, was like he was God. And uh, so when he, got ready, when he got ready to leave, I looked up at him and I said, Dr. Allen, I said, what do you think I should be? And he said, uh, he's a pretty wise old boy. And uh, because I expected, I wanted him to tell me that I should be a doctor like him. But he was smart. And he told me, he says, well, son, he says, I'll tell you. You've got to make up your mind what you want to be. And then go do it. Well, that was a, quite a command coming from God, you know. So I went out in my favorite climbing tree out in back to the house there and, and got up in this tree and I spent the whole afternoon deciding, doing just what he said. I was going to have to do it because he said so. I decided though that, well, I wanted to be a doctor like Dr. Allen, but I also wanted to build my own airplane. And that wasn't enough though. I also wanted to be a Navy pilot and land on those carriers. Oh, this zoom, boy, clunk, there you are on the deck. So I decided, well, I just won't be one thing, I'll be all three. And of course, included in that was building my own airplane. Well, I finally got to be a Navy pilot, then I became a physician, and now I have built my airplane. And now we're rebuilding the airplane. And beyond that, I think the goal is to keep on rebuilding and keep on tweaking and tuning and making it better and better and better. It seems the syndrome of building an airplane includes at least one or two, maybe three wives. Oh yes, I hear this very frequently. The guy built it, started his airplane and two wives later he finished it. But you know, this is my wife for 47 years. 48 years this year and she never once told me you're not paying any attention to me she never once chastised me for spending all that time on the airplane but she was a help she backed me up in what I was doing and ran errands to find parts you know, back in the early days we never had wag arrow or aircraft spruce specialty. She had to scrounge up some of these old airplane parts and I had to refurbish them on the spot and she would find them for me. She was my real gopher and my real pal and inspiration. <laughs>